Hi you guys. Um, I know I haven't done a video on my peak week, so I'm just gonna so, like give you a little synopsis here, going into kind of like the vlog of my show weekend. So I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, say hi. Hi. We are in the hotel. We made it here to Boise. It took us five hours, including a potty break. So that was good timing. Um, peak week was pretty uneventful. We didn't change hardly anything. The only changes we made were First, we changed over all my veggies to green veggies, uh, and then we which means we cut out bell pepper and stir fry veggies. And then the last couple days, we've traded out most of that for asparagus. So, um, and I've also the last couple days started monitoring my sodium a little bit, not cutting it much, but just kind of paying attention to how much of it I was using. So I was 127.6 last weekend, and I was 123.8 this morning. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I brought my scale here because we drove here and I just want to see what my show weight is. So I'll see what I'm at tomorrow. Um, heading into the shower in just a minute and I've got like this, I'm gonna make this paste of baking soda and um, Blue Dawn dish soap. So you want like a, a soap that's non-moisturizing and the baking soda kind of neutralizes the pH in your skin so that the tan um, soaks in better. So I'm heading to get my tan in a couple hours. Right now I'm just kind of resting, putting my feet up. Um, we did cut back from a gallon to three quarters of a gallon of water today. So I am really feeling it, even though we're not cutting water out by any means, I'm feeling it. So um, yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna take you guys along with me this weekend. All right, we are here to get my spray tan. If any of you have ever had a competition spray tan, you know what I mean, but it is the worst part of this whole experience. It's sticky, it's yucky, you have to pee in a cup, and you have to be so careful that you don't mess it up. Yeah, and I'm about to go have my last relaxing seated pee. Okay, so I got my tan on. It's gotten pretty dry. This is just a base coat. Um, it's not as uncomfortable as I thought it would be. We're here at the athlete meeting. show is going to be tomorrow and um, I'll show you guys the stage. Okay, I am so excited because we are doing... Good morning guys. I'm um, just waking up at 6 30. My alarm was actually set for 7 but I woke up so I'm awake. Um, I slept really good last night. I woke up to pee at 4. If you've never done a competition you know <laughs> you have to pee in a cup because you can't have any drips or toilet splatters on your tan because it will literally leave like splash marks on your tan. And so um, I've used like funnels and stuff before and they still splatter on me. So I take a cup and I like jam it up there <laughs> like hard so there's a good seal. And then I pee until I think it's almost full and then you dump it in the toilet and you keep peeing till it's almost full, dump it in the toilet. So it's quite the process, um, no sitting. So I did that at 4 a.m. and then I slept off and on from 4 until like 6.30 and had to pee a couple more times, but I'm um, not having any cramping, didn't have any cramps in the night. Um, my tan is flawless right now. Um, there's no pee marks, there's no smudges, smears, nothing. I'm so happy and honestly, like I feel like everything is going so smoothly. Last night, I didn't let any of the competitors get in my head, I didn't hardly look at anyone. I just focused on myself and just chilling out and got, got a really good feeling about today. Yes. 
Face the judges. Okay. 55 and 57. Can you guys raise your hands? 55 and 57. Go ahead and try places. 56 and 58. Try places. 54 and 50. Try places. 53 and 55 trade places. Okay, ladies, we'll have turn. Face the curtain, please. Personal trainer and nutritionist out of South Jordan, Utah. 37 years old, likes to nap, she says. Hang out at the pool with her family and creating healthy meals. That's Lindsay Matthews. How about Joanna Richards? Okay, here's our next dish. And we found our friends. Hello. They went to the restaurant that was very close, and we went to one that was very far. Same exact name, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we finally found each other and found our food. We almost just had like a major, major crisis. So the cookie place we were gonna go to decided that they don't deliver right now. So Lindsay, my friend Lipton Lindsay, said, "There's cold stone across the street, and it closes in three minutes." And so we ran as fast as our tired little legs could carry us across the street and we got our golds down with three minutes to spare. I got a chocolate devotion, a small flavor, just a little baby one. I'm so happy right now, you guys. That chocolate ice cream was so good. I don't care about cake or pie or burgers or pizza, but I love ice cream so much. So the guy at the restaurant said that it's not often that they get women in tiaras in their restaurant. That's weird. I don't know why more people don't wear tiaras. It's really strange. Hey you guys, what's up? I'm like really sorry that I'm the worst YouTuber in the entire world. I'm so sorry. I was so good last week and over show weekend about putting stuff on my story, but I forgot to make you guys a video. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do better. I'm committing from the bottom of my heart to do better this week, okay? So here's my little recap of how last week went. Um, I can't remember if I did any peak week videos, so I'm gonna go over that. Basically on peak week, I just went um, straight through my normal carb cycle. We didn't change anything. I did two low days followed by a high day. Um, my carb cycle macros again are were 80 grams of carbs low day veggies only 165 protein 35 or 40 46 fat and then high days they were 160 carbs not very many not very many veggies and um 
33 fat and 165 protein. So we just went straight through. Friday was a high day, um, the day before the show. And I, on starting Wednesday, I watched my salt intake. So I didn't cut it back at all, but I just kind of was conscious of it. And I made sure I tried to use a little bit less than I was the day before. I mean, the, the days before. Normally I'm not, I don't pay attention to my salt at all. And I'm just like, psh, 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 loading up the salt. So I tried to be conscious of it for a couple of days before the show. Um, traveling up to Idaho was awesome. It went very uneventfully. I went with my friend Sarah. We had so much fun. The main thing I noticed about the show and everything going into it that weekend was how calm I was. Like, I mean, granted, it's like my 14th show, so I know what to expect, but I was just like super relaxed, wasn't stressing. I made it a huge priority for me not to let the other girls get in my head. I looked at their faces when I talked to them. I did not look at their bodies. I was just there for me and I was 100% comfortable with me being ready for the show and did not stress over things. Like um, I could have stressed over some things. My makeup girl was running late. Um, my tan wasn't quite dark enough until right before stage, but I was just like, you know what? It's all gonna work out. It's all gonna be just fine. Everything will be fine. So um, I was very chill and very relaxed. So. Went on for Masters. Masters is over 35 and they brought us all out and I was immediately put in the center, which um, I got a lot of questions about what that means. So um, they bring you all out and up in Idaho, we didn't do our individual walk, which is what I've been practicing for like six months. We didn't even do it. So they brought us all out. We do our front poses and our back poses and they start moving you around. So usually if you're moved to the middle, that's a good thing. That means you're first place and they're comparing everyone else on the sides to you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes they don't do that. Sometimes if there's someone that they think is the best, they move them off to the side and they compare everyone else for second, third, and fourth. So you really, you really never know what's gonna happen. But they moved me immediately to center. And then I stayed there the whole time. They moved people around around me and like that's the best feeling ever. I was just like, ah, just holding my poses and moving around and smiling so big and it was awesome. So um, that was Masters, held center the entire time. Was very confident, held my tummy in tight, all the things I practiced, my posing was awesome. Um, so then I went off, we had about 30 minutes until my open class, which open class is um, any age. So anyone that wants to do bikini, they like they sign up for their open classes and then they put you into height categories. So it's my height category. Um, we went out there and there were six of us, it was an even number, so there was no one person in the center, but I was immediately moved in to sharing center. And so I was like, okay, best case scenario, cool. And the next move, I was moved back out one away from sharing center. And I was like, no, but what about me? Why are you moving me over there? But I just keep a smile on your face and have fun and it's all, um, it's all fun and games because you don't ever want to like be like, you don't want to have that face on stage no 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 um so you got to keep good posture good attitude and everything even if you're being moved around so um shared center just outside of sharing center i didn't know what that meant um and then that was it so we finished that we finished prejudging around probably around two o'clock my tan was a little bit streaky, so the tan people told me to actually go home and shower, and then they'd respray me right before the night show, so that was like awesome, because I got to then shower and then take a nap, and it was so awesome and relaxing. And so we went back for the night show, and that is where um, we do a little bit of a walk, but still we didn't have very much time, so I couldn't do my whole routine that I had been practicing. Um, but we did that, they read our little bios, and then they bring out the master's class, that one came out first. Bikini was at the very end, so we had to wait through the whole show. Um, and they introduce every person, and then they bring it, then you go off stage, and they say, okay, these are our top five, and they announce our numbers, and the top five go out, but you don't know where you placed. And then they start with, fifth place goes to so-and-so, fourth place goes to so-and-so, and then when they get to the last two, I was there with the other girl, and they were like, our last two, Second place runner up goes to, and I said the other girl's name, and I was like, woohoo! Just kidding. I didn't really do that, but I was very happy inside. <laughs> so, the main thing I focus on is masters um, because, like, that's my age. I don't, I mean, I do open, I always do open, but I'm 30 freaking seven. I'm like an old fogey lady over here, so I don't, like, I, my main goal is 
like play some as well as I can in masters. So won the masters class, went off stage about 20, 30 minutes later, it was time for open, introduced us all again. I was really wanting second because I saw some stage pictures of the girl I was next to in the middle and she was awesome. So I didn't know if I could quite beat her. Um, the girl that I was switching spots with was amazing too and I was hoping I could beat her but I wasn't really, wasn't really sure. I thought it was either second or third. And so they came down to the last two again and I got the runner up. I was second place in open. So I was super, super happy with that. So the night went amazingly. Then we went out for sushi and I've got some clips here of my story that I'll show you guys um, about that night. Okay, so then the next day I was like still on cloud nine. So I was up four pounds. My stage weight was 123.8. Um, next day I was 128. I did bring my scale just because I wanted to know what my stage weight was. I was 128, which was just the big meal, the sushi and the ice cream in my belly. Um, went for a five mile run, felt great, felt amazing with all that food in me. And um, then I was, I was a low day on Sunday. So we traveled home, it was a low day, low carb day. Monday was another low carb day. Um, actually, I should tell you, Sunday, uh, I wasn't exactly 100% on track. I was... Um, I didn't have any carbs, but I did get a little munchy in the peanut butter jar. I got And I told my coach, because it's so important to always be honest with your coach. She's like, okay, well, let's check out where your weight is tomorrow. See what see what it did. I'm, I'm guessing you'll be fine, though. Because um, I was asking if I should do another low day Tuesday. And so Monday, let's see, I was 126. So I had dropped two of those pounds that I was up on. Uh, I had a big poop, too. Pooped out that cheat meal. Um... So it was 126 and she's like, okay, no, we'll just do another low day today, high day tomorrow, Tuesday. So Monday, uneventful, another low day, did my 75 minutes cardio. Um, this is when it gets fun, you guys. This peak week has been totally insane, like blowing my mind insane. Okay, so Monday was a low day. Tuesday, I wake up and I'm 124.0. Is that right? No, I was 125, 125 and a half. And so she's like, sweet, okay, just do a high day like normal. Um, and then, but she told me to have a burger instead of my tilapia at dinner. So normally, you guys, my dinner on high day is tilapia and sweet potato and peanut butter. So I subbed in some extra lean ground beef and I grilled some onions and I put some peanut butter on my burger and made sweet potato fries. And we were having a barbecue because it's my nephew's birthday. And so you guys, I felt so amazing because my family was here, we barbecued, and I felt like a normal person. It was so awesome. Um, okay, so Tuesday, that was Tuesday. Wednesday morning, I wake up and I was 124.0. And she was like, whoa, that's stage weight. She was like, another high day. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? It's blowing my mind, another high day. And so I had never had two high days in a row. So I was thrilled. And, she, and then I, she checked me, she looked at me again on Tuesday afternoon. Um, no, are we on Wednesday? Wednesday afternoon to make sure I wasn't like spilling over. What that means is if your carbs get too high and you start losing some of these like detailing, some of these lines right here, you're staying full but you're losing the striations. That means your carbs are getting too high and you're risking spilling over. So, um, but she said I was fine. And so, yeah, burger, burger last night again. And I only did 30 minutes cardio yesterday. So today, you guys, you guys, my weight today was 122.0. Can you believe that? Like, it's falling off of me. My food, my body is like blowing through these carbs. And so I texted her this morning, I was like 122.0. And she was like, holy crap, another high day. Three in a row. And so she measured my body fat today and I was 9.8% on calipers and um, another high day, another burger, three days in a row. The thing that makes me so excited is my body is like seriously just soaking up all of these carbs. And so I'm hoping this happens again next week so I can just get a reverse diet going in a really good like starting point. So um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at today. It was 122.6. Oh, no, 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 122.0, 9.8% body fat. I'm gonna try and get this uploaded for you guys today 
because I'm gonna be really good about getting some videos this weekend and then I'll get another video about this show uploaded for you guys on Sunday or Monday, okay? So that's kind of how my first show went. First peak week, most of second peak week, it's been blowing my mind crazy. And thank you guys so much for all the support and following my journey. See ya.